MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day sold. So enjoy and thanks for watching. MustangMedic.com. The 1971 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. Puts the cross hatch in the last one. Yep. And that's for that's for so you cross hatch it so when the rings break in it, it breaks in, in clean. Exactly. Oh, see, I'm learning. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Exactly. I'm getting the big picture. There she is, guys. All cleaned up. She is. Here's the here's the uh, here's the other ones, all cleaned up. So that's it, guys. There are all the beautifully cleaned cylinders on the block. <coughs> He's micing it. That's an old school mic too. Look at that thing. That's a gauge for cylinders I use. Yeah. Wow. Right on? Wheels, I'm excited. I'm going to drive the car up here to show it to you when it's all done. Afford the gas. If I can afford the gas, exactly. <laughs> all right, guys. Now, the block has to be cleaned. Right. You know, really clean. Then we start to something. And can you tell me about these, pl these plugs again in the back? Well, they were really frozen. So rather than uh, break more tools, I drove them out. And, and the reason you had to take those out was just for cleaning? Cleaning the oil galleries, which are in here. Okay. Cleaning the oil galleries, that's for the lifters. Got it. Very, very important. Very important to clean the oil galleries. Yep. All right. Excellent. Same with the tops here. These two here go down to the mains. you got to run fluid through there to clean them. Okay. As well as the rest of the lot. Okay. Yep. Looks great. Now the crank... Technique, all technique. I have a lot of machinery that's three phase, so I have to use a converter. Got it. This is the desert. Yeah, this is the desert. I don't know <laughs> that one takes a shit. I got one down here buried. So. The heads are a whole other subject, and we're going to deal with that we'll soon. Get that. We'll get to that eventually. That's like sanding tape? Special cloth. Yeah. Special cloth. This is cool. This is so cool, wheels. I can't tell you how neat this is.
on it touch the front one of it. The front main on most motors, most motors, takes all the abuse. Gotta love that made in USA on that, huh guys? You gotta love that. You can see there's still some scratches in there, but I can't do anything about that because that's way down, way down. But it won't be an issue for the engine, no, right? Absolutely not. But you can see, uh, I should have left one that you could actually see. Uh, yeah, you polished them all up so we yeah, never got to see them up. ugly. <laughs> yeah, the rods hurt. You gotta be real careful when you do them. Yeah. And that's yeah. the one that takes all the abuse in the, <coughs> this in, one. in the front? Yep. Is that because that's where the play happens, if, if it does happen? No, it's the last one to get oil, I guess. Oh, okay. So there you go guys, there's the polished crankshaft and you saw the uh, honed cylinders, all eight are done on the uh, 429. Uh, we are going to be able to use these pistons again because they mic'd out. What did they mic out to again, uh, wheels, for the... Uh, size you... plus four. Size plus four? Uh, in other words, those, are, those measures are uh, 4360. And the cylinders uh, measure 4364. And that's within which the, is the limit. Yeah. That that's yeah. That's pretty much close to the limit. Okay. How many more how many more miles do you think I'll get out of this engine when it's all done? Said and done. At least a hundred. At least a hundred? Sure. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, so see the grooves have to be clean that there's a broken ring laying there somewhere. Broken ring? I have a broken ring somewhere. See, I, I, they make a tool mm -hmm. that you can clean the ring grooves with. Just goes around. It's like a pliers. Mm -hmm. But I prefer a broken ring because it's sharp on the edge. Oh, so you you break the ring and use that as a cleaner. Yep. So this guys, this is a before shot of one of the pistons before uh, it starts getting cleaned by wheels. And this is he's about to show you the other piston, the first piston he started to work on. It's right here, and uh, he's going to show you how to uh, old school clean the uh, piston rings. Watch your eyes. Watch your eyes. Tough ring, huh? There it goes. It broke that broke that part of the ring off. That's all we need. You know, a good sharp edge here. Right. Oops, sorry. Just clean the goddamn grooves out. What he's using is... Shit coming out of there. Yeah, wow. Holy crap. Man, I am so glad that we chose to do this. So there's the top of the piston. Still not totally clean yet, but it's started and is getting cleaned up right now. And what Wheels is doing is he's using a, a he oh, broke. Shit going out there. Yeah, look at that. He broke a part of a ring, and he's cleaning out the uh, ring. What is that called? Ring groove. The ring groove. And cleaning out both uh, both ring grooves right now, just scratching it clean. The oil ring groove. Oil ring groove. You can uh, you can clean with a, with a strong brush. Very little carbon in there. Well, I am very grateful that you're sharing your knowledge with us, on Wheels. It's really awesome. I know that nobody else will do this. Stuff. I know, I know, and I know, I, I know. I, I'm very grateful, and, and the viewers just seeing this will be grateful. It's just to, you don't see this every day on video. You know what I mean? Hell no. Hell no. As you say. Stuff comes out of there. Oh, All right. Shit. Yep. So he's going to do. Uh, He's going to do them all, which is eight, so 16 ring grooves, clean all the pistons up, and uh, yeah. 
Are we taking these? We don't have to take these out, do we? Nope. Nope, because we're keeping these pistons. No, they're pressed in. Yep. Do you have the equipment to actually take them out if you wanted to? Yep. Do you? You got everything, wheels. I press right there. And this takes uh, nice. a Chevy tool. A Chevy tool? Yep. Oh, we never say Chevy on, on Mustang Medic. Tell me about it. I think I put it away. But it's, uh, it's just basically a block of aluminum that's machined because uh, when you press these out, you got to have something that fits over the got it. system like that. Oh, got it. Press out, when you put them back in, you have to heat the rod and push the piston uh, pin in. Mm. But you're all set here. All right, so there it is, guys. Uh, she's been honed. Uh, the pistons are being in the process of being cleaned. I've got my assignment, the simple job of finding the parts and paying for them. And then uh, I'm going to be back out, and I guess we'll be putting in, uh, I guess when I come back out and visit you, what's next? Crank. We'll put the crank in it. Okay. And, uh, Whatever else we got? Assembly. All right. Excellent. Assembly. Exciting. Exciting. No, let's get to the edge. Okay, so these... Wheels has heads right now that are already redone, and here they are. The, yeah, I rebuilt these a while back. He rebuilt these a while back, and I could use these and buy them from him instead of having him rebuild mine. The, problem's these holes still. the, the issue that we have is, what, this, this is the, I'll show you. I'm getting all turned around now. Yeah, I'll show you. Look at this guy, he's 70, he's lifting up this thing. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, hell, I've done. This is why you're going to live so long, you keep doing this stuff. I've done <laughs> short blocks. See, there's the boss for that extra hole on there. So we got the extra hole, and these are the, these are the old heads that I took off the engine See that, that, extra hole? that he can rebuild. No. Well, where's the, I see four holes there, I see four holes here. Oh, this extra hole. Yeah. That's the hole you're talking about. That's the only one? This one. This one. So this right here is the only difference with these heads. Yep. And this is the... Two holes here and two holes here, but you got a fifth hole. we got a fifth hole. Otherwise, we could use those later model heads, and they also come with... Yeah. They're also going to be valve covers. Hey, they're on. also going to be valve covers that would actually get not bolted from the sides, but would be... The valve cover would be held in by this, these bolts, holes right here. So there'd be there'd be four on the top. And they run an O-ring. And then run an O-ring around these heads. Yeah, around the valve cover. Yeah. So the decision I need to make is can I can use these heads and the engine will run. Oh yeah, run, yeah. And it'll be run great. Yeah. I just have to find out what that bolt goes to over there, yeah. and see, look at old videos and figure out what yeah, the heck that this. mounts on. So. It's got the goofy bolt. No, that's the outside one. <laughs> I keep getting turned around. This? Yeah. I'll show you. All right. So there's the difference. These all line up. So we do have that. MustangMedic.com. Please look for the link in the description below in the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com.